Hello again, YouTubers, Autumn with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the Other Stuff channel. Today we have another unboxing video, something different here on the channel. We have a Pokemon Mega Ring uh, from Takara Tomy. This was originally released back in 2014 to 2015. Um, I managed to pick this one up for a pretty low price. Uh, locally, it was like, uh, in terms of US dollars, I think it was 15 US dollars. I'm not exactly sure what the prices for these were back when they were released because um, I couldn't really find any specific like um, recommended retail pricing. But anyways, this set was actually one that was um, made for sale in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. So as you can see here, we have that little Mega Evolution logo there, something similar to the Mega Evolution Specials logo uh, if you watch the anime. Uh, we have this. Uh, Pokemon Mega Ring, details and colors of the images may differ from actual product. Now you might see this packaging is actually pretty beat up and scratched up. Um, this is how I got it. Um, the seller claimed it was brand new um, and it looks pretty good so I, I, I you know, take his word for it. Uh, Mega Stone links to Mega Ring and then on the bottom we have some um, warnings. Um, this is the Mega Ring and this is a Blaziknight Mega Stone. Um, and on the back here we have some of the what is a Mega Ring? So in order to perform the Pokemon Mega Evolution, the Pokemon Trainer must have both a Mega Ring and a Mega Stone, which belongs to a Pokemon. When the Mega Stone links to a Mega Ring, Pokemon starts the Mega Evolution. Alright, so uh, again there we have Let's Play with Mega Stone, blah blah blah, lights up, okay. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, the packaging for this is really noisy, <laughs> to say the least. Um, pretty easy to get out the stuff anyways. So first, let's take a look at the Mega Stone. So this is the Mega Stone, again, um, resembles the one from the game, although it's like a, well, I'm not even sure how to describe this. It's, it's like a marble, sort of like a marble, but with lots of holes. So I'm not sure, sure like why they made so many of these holes. Was it for ventilation or something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so basically that's that. The Blaziknight Mega Stone, and then we have the Mega Ring proper. So the Mega Ring here, um, basically this is the part where the keystone is. So you can see the Mega Evolution symbol as well as the iPhone 11 Pro that I'm using to film this video. Um, and on the top here we have a um, connector with the. This is where you are supposed to put the uh, Mega Stone, and then it'll light up as well as the Keystone part and then it'll have like sound effects and stuff like that. So I think it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, they do not make these anymore. Um, but yeah, so there are a couple of variations to this now. I actually am quite interested in these items. When I first found out about them, I was pretty interested. So I did some research and it turns out that in Japan, they had a couple of uh, special editions for this. So um, originally, this was the main one for sale and they had like a blue one, a generic blue one, as well as a generic red one. Um, and then they did have um, a couple of special editions. So they had Meg um, the Charizard orange color one, which looks fantastic from the Pokemon Center. They had a competition where there were like uh, 1000 Mega Gengar color with like a, a pink and purple. Uh, you know, it looks like Heel Ball in my opinion, if you know what I mean. You know, like the Pokeball in the games, a Heel Ball. And then there was also a Gyarados one, which was darker blue with the yellow like the uh, trims on the side here. So um, then of course in 2015, uh, the time of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, uh, they released the Mega Bangle or Mega Bracelet in English. I mean, officially the English name of the product was Mega Bracelet, I think, um, and Mega Bangle in Japan. Now that one came in like a silvery, uh, a more white, white-ish color, like the ones from the game. And then they had like a dark silver one, um, like even a Rayquaza one. I've seen that and it's pretty cool. But personally, I like the Mega Ring more. So this is the back of the Mega Ring. It does say Nintendo and Pokemon. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's to uh, Tomy made in China. And then there's this little uh, band here that you uh, put your uh, arm through and then it'll secure the Mega Ring on your arm. Um, there are like a, this is a light here, so I think this is a sensor, and then, yeah, pretty much like that. So, uh, if you wanna put this thing on, of course, 
kind of get the focus. So you had to pull this apart, and then it's just this random hinge holding the mega ring together. So what you do is you just put it on, right? So you just, um, I'm not doing it very efficiently here, but okay, good enough. And then you clip it in, and then that's pretty much it. You have it on your arm. And then when you want to use the mega stone, I mean, you actually do not have to use the mega stone with the mega ring. Just um, completing the circuit by touching both contacts here at the same time will also result in the same sound effects and light. But for purposes of this video, uh, let's use this blazing knight. So let's just put it. Um, it has to go in in a certain way as well. So um, it says H H14 over there. Okay, and then if you do that. As you can see, pretty cool. So, um, and then what I was saying is if you touch one of the contacts, it doesn't do anything. But if you touch two of the contacts at the same time, there you go. It will line up as well. So pretty cool. Um, and then of course, to remove it, just unhinge it and then pull your arm out. So yeah, that's pretty much the unboxing. Um, kind of a random unboxing here, but uh, this is one item that I was quite interested in. Um, I didn't know existed, but you know, um, once I found out about it, uh, recently Mega Evolutions have been in, uh, introduced into Pokemon Go and that kind of revived my hype over Mega Evolutions. Uh, Mega Evolutions, in my opinion, uh, you know, originating Generation 6, in my opinion, they are the best so far gimmick type thing in Pokemon. So in Gen 7, we had Z-Moves, and in Gen 8, Dynamax and Gigantamax, but Mega Evolution is still my uh, favorite out of the three. Not sure what they'll be doing in Gen 9, but, you know, I really hope that somehow they do reintroduce Mega Evolutions into the main series games, perhaps in a Diamond and Pearl remake. Um, next year in 2021 for the 25th anniversary, but you know overall um, I'm great. I'm really glad that I got this now uh, if you guys know anywhere that I can like pick up the rest um, For like a decent price I mean, it's kind of skyrocketing now And I'm not really willing to pay too much for these because again, these are just like plastic things and oh, I, to I totally forgot to mention but these are meant to be used of the Pokemon Treta arcade machine so basically uh, these are not compatible with the games you can't use these with the nintendo 3ds games uh, you can only use these at the arcade machines that you have in japan and asia uh, and uh, unlike the z ring right the z ring is the one that is compatible with pokemon sun and pokemon moon the z power ring uh, compatible with ultra sun and ultra moon so yeah i'm, I'm kind of looking for the rest I, I did find some but they're really expensive so you know Probably not, um, because I'm not actually planning on collecting these, but I think uh, just having it just to look at it's pretty cool. Um, but so, you know, if I ever find a good deal, I'll pick maybe the other editions up, but unlikely because, you know, it's already, what, five years since these were released? So people usually won't be willing to part with these uh, collectible items, especially special editions for a low price. But anyways, I digress. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep it right here on the Other Stuff channel by Ultimate Spongebob 101. And yeah, we have plenty more Pokemon videos coming soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next Other Stuff video here on the channel. Bye!